My name is Stephen Doughty. I am the chorus master of Belfast Philharmonic Choir. Yes, Elijah is indeed one of my favourite pieces. Um, I like the, the passion and the energy and the sense of uh, life that's in the music. Um, I like the fact that the characters, whether it be the, the soloists or Elijah himself, or indeed the chorus, take on the roles of essentially real people. Um, and the music is so vibrant, then the storyline just very much jumps off the page. I have conducted Elijah on three previous occasions um, some years ago now, uh, and I was also delighted to be involved in the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment and Edinburgh Festival Chorus's performance and recording of Elijah, which took part in the Edinburgh Festival um, probably 20 years or so now, um, having Rennie Fleming and Bryn Terfel uh, as part of the cast made it a very, very memorable and special occasion. Rehearsals for Elijah have been going very well. Um, while it would be trite to say the music is not in itself very difficult, um, because there's really quite a lot of it, um, it is very singable music, um, and I feel a choir of the standard of Belfast Philharmonic Choir, um, they're very much getting to grips with it and producing some really very impressive and beautiful sounds. Um, <clears throat> still a bit of work to do here and there, but uh, it's very much coming together and I'm very much looking forward to hearing the finished article in a few weeks' time. One of the things that will make this forthcoming performance of Elijah so special is, quite apart from the, the, the able um, Belfast Philharmonic Choir, uh, we're delighted to have the, the Ulster Orchestra accompanying us. Um, as you know, the Ulster Orchestra is the professional symphony orchestra in Belfast and it's such a treat to be able to perform this music together. In addition to that, we have four stellar soloists, as well as a member of Belfast Philharmonic Choir's Phil Kids. All of these people are all taking part. Um, so much talent on show, on the stage, all at one time. Um, it's going to be a really very exciting performance. One of the reasons why I was particularly keen to do Elijah with Belfast Philharmonic Choir is firstly, it's a large choir, so the big choruses that require uh, real passion and power and intensity, there is that quality of sound within the singers. But at the same time, um, the piece asks for a whole variety of semi-choruses, small groups, trios, eight-part writing, solo parts here and there, uh, and there's lots of opportunity to show off various sections of the choir and various individual voices in the choir. Um, I think there are six solo parts coming from within the choir um, and also a whole plethora of semi-choruses, not, not least uh, Lift Thine Eyes, which of course is one of the uh, most famous uh, small pieces from Elijah. One of the things I like about Elijah is in the, in the midst of these gigantic choruses and orchestral pieces that are on a very large scale, there are also one or two miniatures which are easily accessible by choirs of many standards. Um, church choir singers out there, uh, I'm sure will have sung Cast Thy Burden and He That Shall Endure to the End, as well as uh, the very famous Lift Thine Eyes, um, and these are will become instantly recognisable to you um, so that if you're, if you're used to singing them, you'll hear them sung and performed in a slightly larger scale in the concert. Um, but they're also, as I say, very powerful choruses, particularly at the beginning and the end. The opening chorus, when the people are crying out for help, uh, is, is countered at the very end of the piece, uh, going from D minor to D major. Um, very impressive ending, ending music, uh, which hopefully will bring the whole performance to a very resounding uh, finish. There are two main reasons for people wanting to come to hear and to see Elijah. Firstly, it's not done very often. 
Um, it was very popular when it was first uh, performed in Birmingham, and it was very popular when it came to Belfast um, at the end of the uh, 19th century. But it's not done very often these days, mainly because it's quite a large-scale piece to put on. Uh, that's one reason in itself to come and hear it. Um, it's only been done in Belfast, um, I think, in 2004, I believe, was the last time. Um, and I'm not very sure before then, but it's not done very often. Um, a second reason to come and hear the piece is it's very real, very relevant music, which may seem a bit strange for something written by uh, Mendelssohn. Only a few days ago, there was a news article about wildfires in Scotland, and uh, the, the fireman was reported as saying that what they really needed was water, rain to come down and saturate the land, um, and that is the central message of the first part of Elijah. Um, at the beginning of the piece, Elijah puts a curse on the land, saying there'll be no rain for three years. By the time we get to the middle of, of uh, part one, the people are crying out for rain to come down to, to laveth the land, as they say. So the message is still relevant. Um, it's quite fun translating it into a modern context, if you like. Um, but there are so many good tunes and such uh, alive and strong music. Um, you really don't want to miss this performance.